वेलकम यू आर वॉचिंग एक्सप्रेस न्यूज विद मी दीपिका योर डेली हाफ एन आफ विंडो दैट ब्रिंग्स यू हंड्रेड न्यूज एंड अपडेट्स फ्रॉम द कंट्री एंड द वर्ल्ड इन जस्ट थर्टी मिनट्स लेट्स बिगिन India slammed China for renaming places in the northeastern state of Arunachal Pradesh. The External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar said in a statement that assigning invented names will not alter the reality that Arunachal Pradesh is has been and will always be an integral part of India. Indian Minister Kiran Rijiju took to X to say that India has the sovereign right to develop its border area and every Indian has an absolute right to visit every part of the country's territory. During an intellectual meet in Rajkot on Tuesday, Indian External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jayashankar said that we are confident on India's bid for a permanent seat at the UNSC and will put extra efforts this time. India's external affairs minister Dr S J Shankar attended a Bharat Bhagya Vidyata program in the western state of Gujarat he also spoke about India's democratic journey and economic growth India's defense minister Rajnath Singh attended army commanders conference in New Delhi on Tuesday the conference is deliberated upon the emerging threat scenario operational challenges reform and plans for modernization To combat the spread of misinformation and uphold the integrity of the electoral process, India's Election Commission has launched Myth vs Reality Register in New Delhi on Tuesday. Election Commission appointed special observers in six states to provide critics critical feedback and vigilant oversight for a level playing field during the upcoming polls. The states are West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, and Bihar. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday addressed a public rally in the northern state of Uttarakhand during which he slammed the opposition Congress party for appeasement politics. India's Home Minister and BJP senior leader Amit Shah begins the party's campaigning in Karnataka today. He addressed a public rally at the Bengaluru Palace ground. Member of Parliament in the lower house from Bihar's Muzaffarpur Ajay Nishad on Tuesday joined the Congress party Nishad resigned from the BJP earlier today Congress released a list of candidates for the states of Maharashtra and Telangana the party has fielded Abhay Kashinath Patil from Akola in Maharashtra India yoga guru Ramdev has and his aide Bala Krishna on Tuesday appeared in the country's top court over Patanjali's Ayurveda misleading advertisements the court came down heavily on them for failing to obey its directives During her address at the Viksit Bharat Ambassador Campus Dialogue in Tamil Nadu India's finance minister Nirmala Sitharaman said that more than 43.3 crore digital transactions are being done in India every month A fire broke out at Navbharat Industrial Chemical Company Navi Mumbai on Tuesday morning local time firefighting operations were on at the location no injuries or casualties have been reported so far At least 5 people were killed and 3 injured in a traffic accident in the northern state of Uttar Pradesh the accident occurred between a speeding dumper and an auto rickshaw Linking of India Central Government Health Scheme beneficiary ID with Ayushman Bharat Health Account ID will be mandatory with effect from 1st of April. The directive was issued by CGHS on Tuesday. Indian Army's Mechanized Infantry Regiment observed its 45th Rising Day in the national capital on Tuesday. Officers paid homage to the brave hearts of the regiment. India's Ministry of Civil Aviation has sought a detailed report from Vistara regarding flight cancellations and major delays with the airline having cancelled over and delayed over 100 flights in the past one week. At least 9 Naxalites were killed in a clash between police forces and Naxalites in the central state of Chhattisgarh. Several automatic weapons were also seized from the encounter site. Supreme Court of India on Tuesday granted bail to AAP leader Sanjay Singh in a money laundering case related to Delhi's excise policy irregularities case. Indian markets ended in red on Tuesday and Sixth declined 110.64 points to settle at 73,903.91.
Nifty dipped 8.70 points to 22,453.3. Indian rupee settled flat at 83.39 against the US dollar. Gold futures maturing on the 5th of April stood at 68,725 rupees per 10 grams on Multi Commodity Exchange of India Limited. Silver futures maturing on the 3rd of May stood at 76,690 rupees per kilogram on the MCX. Google agreed to destroy billions of data records to settle a lawsuit claiming that it secretly tracked the internet use of people who thought they were browsing privately. Terms of the settlement were filed on Monday in a court in the state of California. Lawyers for the plaintiffs valued the accord at more than $5 billion and as high as $7.8 billion. The World Bank lowered Bangladesh's GDP growth forecast by 0.1 percentage point to 5.7 percent for the fiscal year 2025. U.S. stocks mostly dipped on Monday with traders weighing fresh U.S. inflation data amid fears that the market rally could slow down. S&P 500 lost 0.21%, while the Nasdaq Composite gained 0.09%. World Bank approved a loan of $750 million to Colombia to battle climate change. The loan aims to boost development and renewable energy efforts as well as bolster econ electric urban transport and multimodal transport as well. An airstrike by Israel on the Iranian consulate in Damascus killed seven people, including three senior Iranian commanders, drawing condemnation from Syria and Iran, Netanyahu admits unintentional attack. White House spokesperson Karine Jopia said that U.S. President is aware of reports of Israeli airstrikes in Damascus but had no involvement or prior knowledge of the strike. Iran's advisor to Supreme Leader Khamenei said that U.S. remains responsible whether Washington was aware or not of the attack on Iran's consulate in Syria. Israeli officials agreed on Monday to consider U.S. concerns over its move in Rafah and explore alternatives approach to address Hamas in southern Gaza. Israel on Tuesday said that a new Gaza truce and hostage proposal has been drafted and presented to Hamas in Cairo. The U.S. and U.K. have announced a new partnership on artificial intelligence safety amid concerns about forthcoming investments in the AI technology. Multiple U.S. states conducted presidential primaries with President Joe Biden and Republican candidate Donald Trump, who is expected to secure massive victories. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken embarked on a trip to France and Belgium to discuss global issues including Ukraine, Gaza and Haiti. Blinken is scheduled to attend the NATO Foreign Minister's meeting in Brussels and meet with NATO General Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg and Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba on Wednesday. Temporary channels were opened by the U.S. authorities at the Baltimore Bridge Collapse site to allow access for clean-up operations. The channels will initially only be open to vessels involved in the bridge cleanup and will not be enough to allow cargo and container ships to pass through. Russia and Ukraine each claim to have down the other drones over the Black Sea on Monday. Both Russia and Ukraine are increasingly focusing on developing and deploying unmanned aircraft in their ongoing conflict. A Moscow court ordered the pretrial custody of a tenth suspect in the 22nd of March concert hall attack until the 22nd of May. Following Islamic State's claim of responsibility for the Moscow attack, France elevated its terror alert level to its highest. France has implemented exceptional security measures including increased military patrols in response to the heightened terror alert warning. North Korea launched a ballistic missile off its east coast, prompting condemnation from Japan's Prime Minister. 
Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida condemned North Korea's suspected ballistic missile launch, citing its impact on regional peace and stability. South Korea on Tuesday imposed sanctions on two Russian individuals and their companies linked to North Korea's nuclear and missile programs. Pakistan's National Assembly and Provincial Legislatures of Punjab and Sindh conducted polling for 30 vacant Senate seats on Tuesday. A shooting incident in a school in Finland resulted in one child's death and injuries to two other children on Tuesday. South Korean President Yoon suk yeol urged striking doctors to return to work, showing flexibility in their medical reform plan. Torrential rains caused floods and landslides in the Italian town of Idolo on Monday. At least 15 people were evacuated from Idolo due to flooding with assessments conducted to mitigate further risk. Five people died in southern Poland due to strong winds with rescue teams assisting in clearing roads and aiding affected residents. Firefighters in southern Poland cleared roads blocked by fallen trees and helped residents with damaged roofs caused by heavy winds. In Kerala, several houses were damaged in Kullam city after water entered inside due to heavy high waves. A historic World War II bunker was discovered in Thailand's Sankhalaburi district. Belgium sought UNESCO's intangible cultural heritage status for its rote puppetry and the biennial flower carpet in Brussels. Visitors in Tokyo enjoyed viewing cherry blossoms before the onset of rainy weather, with boat rides among the blooming trees being a popular activity. The White House included a joint Easter bunny in its press briefing as an April Fool's Day prank on Monday. White House Press Secretary Karine Jopia participated in the April Fool's Day prank alongside the bunny, joking about revoking the Hatch Act. One of the largest jackpots in the history of the US, the multi-state Powerball is now up for grabs. This year's Powerball jackpot price is estimated at $975 million, making it the fifth largest in the game's history. Turkmenistan commemorated the third anniversary of the Gurbanguli Bardi Mukhamidov charitable foundation in Ashgabat. The anniversary event in Turkmenistan involved participants from various organizations, including a mathematics Olympiad. The 36 Easter egg throwing challenge in Horhusen, Germany, aimed at breaking the standing record of 73 meters. OpenAI has declared that users will no longer need an account to utilize ChatGPT, their widely used AI conversation platform. The largest ever study of bird genomes revealed that most modern bird groups emerged within 5 million years after the dinosaur's extinction. Arizona designated Pluto as its official state planet despite it being classified as a dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union. Devotees in India observed Sheetla Ashtami by taking a holy dip at Triveni Sangam in Uttar Pradesh's Priyagraj. An artist from Indian state of Assam gained popularity on social media for his artwork that went viral online. Japan's imperial family made its formal debut on Instagram on Monday, aiming to engage with younger audiences. Jamila, a western lowland gorilla, was born by an emergency caesarean section performed by veterinarians at the Fort Worth Zoo in Texas. The 12-week-old baby gorilla was transferred to Cleveland Metro Park Zoo for better care. An Ontian bear named Tupac was airlifted back to its natural habitat after months waiting in the zoo of Kyoto, Ecuador's capital. 
Chupak, who's also known as the spectacled bear, had been spotted in northern Ecuador after causing damage to local livestock. Iraqis celebrated the ancient Assyrian New Year called Akitu in Tohog with traditional festivities and dances on Monday. People from across Iraq and the diaspora gathered in Tohog to celebrate the Assyrian New Year and renew life and livelihood. Animals at Zagreb Zoo in Croatia enjoyed a festive Easter lunch with lions, bears, meerkats and monkeys treated to their favorite snacks. Megasar Amitabh Bachchan travelled through the newly inaugurated Mumbai Coastal Road, sharing the video the actor has called it as a marvel. Sharing a video on X, cinematographer Sunil said that the Indian actor Prithviraj Sukumaran fasted for three days, not even water, on the last day of the shoot for a scene in his movie Adu Jeevitanam. Actor Ajay Devgan's upcoming film, Maidan's trailer, has been released. The trailer gives a glimpse into the life of an Indian football team coach who put the country on the football map in the 1950s and 60s. Seated actress Priyanka Chopra has announced that she will be serving as the narrator in the Disney nature documentary film called Tiger. Sharing a poster of Tiger on Instagram, Priyanka Jonas wrote, and I quote, I had so much fun lending my voice to this incredible story and exploring the jungles through this film, unquote. After recording an impressive opening, Godzilla into Kong, the new empire is all set to surpass the 50 crore rupees mark in the domestic market. On Monday, the film achieved an overall English occupancy rate of 16.59%. My Hero Academy Season 7 is already on the top list of a nine lovers this year. The seventh season of the show is set to premiere on the 4th of May this year with four memories recap specials airings in April. <coughs> Star and Stripe, America's pro hero, will make her debut in the upcoming season of My Hero Academy as she steps up to take on Tomura Shigaraki in a battle for her life. ISPA member Karina and actor Lee Ju Vuk have officially parted ways. The couple whose relationship sparked controversy with dating apology called it quit called it a quit five weeks after going public. The 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards took place in Dolby Theatres in Los Angeles. BTS's Kim clinched a major award in the main category alongside J Hope. In a shocking development, Ben Stokes has confirmed that he does not wish to be considered for England's selection for this summer's ICC Men's T20 Cricket World Cup, hence ruling himself out of the upcoming Cricket World Cup. Rajasthan Royals on Monday secured their third consecutive victory in IPL by defeating Mumbai Indians by six wickets. Kolkata Knight Riders versus Rajasthan Royals match at Eden Gardens on the 17th of April have already been rescheduled a day earlier and now it will take place on the 16th. Ace Indian tennis player Sumit Nagal on Monday achieved a career high ranking of 95 in the ATP singles chart following impressive results in recent times. Former world number one Caroline Wozniacki eased to a dominating straight set victory of American McCartney Kessler in the opening round of the Charleston Open. Dominic Thiem claimed his first ATP Tour victory of 2024 following a three set victory over German Maximilian Martador in the first round of the Estoril Open in Portugal. Arjun Eriga is the replaced five-time world champion Vishwanathan Anand as the highest-ranked Indian in the official FIDE rating list. German Football Association on Monday said that the design for the number four on Germany's national team shirts will be changed over con concerns that the number 44 resembles the symbol used by Nazi SS units. Newcastle will host Everton at St. James Park in a very important game in the Premier League. Tottenham Hotspur will face West Ham United in the Premier League tonight in a pit to solidify their position in the Champions League for next season. 
And with this, it's a wrap here on Express News for now. But news and updates will continue here on DD India. So don't go anywhere. Keep watching and keep tracking DD India for all latest news and updates from the country and the world. Thank you so much for joining us right now. Namaskar.